Things are looking good. The voodoo boys and fucking drug heads are gone. And I heard someone took out old Don Giovanni's whole private island. Yeah, with those pendejos gone, there's a whole lot of business for those matadores to take care of. Hey, it's gonna be the high life for us from now on. Hey, amigos! Yeah, that's yeah. right! El Hango saw the decimation of Neonopolis's other games as an opportunity. He did not realize it merely meant that he was next on the hit list. With his newfound wealth, he'd bought himself and his manager's exemption from the pre-dawn curfew. That kept the normal citizens off the streets. But that just made it easier for the monster hunting him to stalk its new prey. King Willie didn't die along with his boys, so maybe some other servitor survived too. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, baby, I'm gonna be taking over all the business in town. Stick with me, everything's gonna be just fine. So let's call my good crowd. I got the feeling one of those ghost suited voodoo assholes is after me. I'm going up to the crib. Put the word out. They are here to stay. Don't you worry about nothing, okay? Hey, hey, it's me. Look, the boss just came in, okay? Looking real jumpy. It looks like someone's not happy we're taking over. So keep your eyes open. Anyone gives you any shit, you take them down, all right? Attention all citizens. The curfew is now lifted. Have a nice day.
But now the invisible demon's progress up the food chain of Neonopolis was to bring it face to face with a predator of a different sort, in the form of Bruno Borgia's granddaughter. The man who broke and tamed this city would have been so proud of my dear Lucretia.